Welcome to Stemmons House, where we make magic through the madness. And today, I'm going to show you what I do for clients. I'm going to take you step by step on how I import, how I download, how I go through coloring, editing, what I look for, what I don't look for. But before we get into all that, let's kick it to the intro. Oh, yes. And I make intros for my clients, too. For my client here, Jasmine, I go ahead and um, go through all the footage. So as you can see, I have her footage pull up right here. And you know, we already did part one. If you want to see her vlog, I'm going to put it in the card right above here and also in the description below. So I want to go ahead and um, open up part two and part three, as you can see right here. and. I pretty much went ahead and already looked through some of them. And what I do at the way I love frame IO is basically you can go ahead and scrub through one section at a time to see what you like. If you see something that, Hey, that that's something that catch my eye. Let me go ahead and listen to it and put it together in my head. Um, because you know, you like to, you like to have things in order. I love about frame IO is that you can go ahead and say, Hey, as you can see here, you can use, can use. I told her, go ahead. And if you see something typical on here that you like, I can use, you know, put in the notes you can use. Also, before I get into the rest of that, let me go back and show you what you can also do. So as you can see here, these are a couple of, these are the two vlogs that I've done edited for her. And you know, she's approved them. She's approved them right there. Um, this one is an old one of this vlog right here and which she approved of. So that was great. I love that. So in here, if you go in, you also have notes. You also have notes and you can label the notes section at, at any point and any time say, Hey, at this, time 3.3 minutes and three seconds i don't like what i said there can you cut it out perfect you know you can also do markup on here and say hey this section looks a little too dark how can i how can we fix that or i don't like i don't like the fact that the sky is all blown out right here how can we fix that coloring perfect. You know, these are great things that you're good. You leave up, you mark up and you leave notes. So basically, you know, it's always great to have notes whenever you're editing for a client. Now I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna go back into the ones I've already picked. I only picked a few for right now. So we can look at how all this work through frame IO. Um, so one thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and make clips for EP stands for episodes. So I like to go ahead and put that in there, put the clips for EP and the ones that I've liked, listened to the ones I've watched and go ahead and put in, I go ahead and, um, put it in this file. And so what I'll do here is I'll download from this file. And the good thing about frame IO is if you have a paid subscription, you also get the apps. So it'll tell me, you know, the app, which I've already has, um, I already have opened up here. So here's the app and, um, you know, I'll just pull up the vlog that we have part two and part three and clips for EP, which will be all these. And then I'll download them, keep it original, you know, and also, I like to download it to her file, which is on my separate drive. Um, I like to keep her drive separate and I'll definitely put it in 
one of her vlogs and download it. So while that download, it'll download all the clips that I already have in that file. And sometimes while that download is really fast and quick, as you can see, um, that's downloaded, is ready to go. Then, you know, I'll minimize all that and then open up Premiere Pro account and I'll go ahead and import everything in there. So most of the times, you know, they like to have music with their stuff, sound effects. I have Epidemic, Epidemic Sound account for my clients. So any type of music that I use, any type of uh, sound effects that I use, I normally put it in through Epidemic. I also tell them, if you hear something on there, let me know. I'll save it or uh, let me know, send me a link um, so I can save it because you, if you feel that goes with your vlog, that'd be great. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know you guys are liking what you've seen so far, but I just want to thank you guys for watching it. I know it's a long tutorial. This one I'm going in details about how I take care of my clients. But since it's so long, I'm going to break it up into two parts. One part is how I edit, how I bring it in. And the second part is how I color grade it, how I put it back into Frame.io so they can go ahead and take a look at it all together. And there may be a third part. So stick it out with us. Don't forget, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications because don't want to miss the rest of my tutorials on how I edit for my clients. So being that said, we're going to get right back to it. So let's kick it back off. Here we go. I'll go ahead and open up a new project. You know, of course I'll call it a uh, jazz vlog. So, uh, part two, sorry, part two, and I'll make sure it is in her folder, which I, you know, got to find browse. I'm sorry. You browse it and I'll make sure it's in her folders in my hard drive. You know, you want to keep your clients things in order. So whenever you got to go back, you, you want to make sure you go back and you find it, you know, keep it. You, you always have a safe keeping, you know, of course I already had one in there. Um, and I overrode it because I have extra copies. So now since I've done that, of course, we got Adobe Premiere open up. I have technically two screens, but I'm going to show you one screen right now and show you how I import. It's really simple and how I edit everything. As I go through this, it's fun. It's really good. Um, of course I go, you know, you click the import, double click on import right here and look for her file. So you want to make sure you have every, everything in order here make sure I got her right vlog open up clips for EP import that and there you have it three items in here so also what I love to import to is her intro I have them 1080p and 4k which I like to import the 4k of course you can grab drag and drop and then I like to import that into our sequence because now that sets our sequence up as 4K. So anything else I put in here will be set at that settings. So for right now, I'm just gonna delete that and then add the first clip in here. It would ask you, do you wanna keep the settings? Yes, I'm gonna keep the setting, original settings. Of course, she didn't shoot it in uh, 4K, so now we're gonna have to edit that part to make sure it is full frame, big enough, boom. Quick and simple, easy as it is. So we got that, and I like to import all the rest of her files. Actually, that was, file, that was the second one. First one I like to import right here, boom. If it wasn't shot in 4K, you definitely have to go back and adjust the scale on all. But once I have everything set, I know where to start. 
I feel comfortable, get it done, simple and easy for the clients because you don't want to have a fast turnaround for your clients. You don't want your clients to be sitting there for weeks waiting on any of your projects. You know, it's great that you can go through everything. And if you have notes through Frame.io or through text, through email, hey, go off of those notes. It, it also helps. like to put in everything in here. Um, so I'm just gonna show you these three clips on how I like to edit everything. And of course, I love to make my sound waves bigger because I look for the, whenever I'm making edits and cuts, I'm looking for the ums, the o's, the um, the, you know, the so's, the stuff that you want to take out, you know, the fillers that you want to take out. And I'm looking for the quiet, the, the open ear parts. So I stretch it out, you know, of course, you know, shove through it, go through it real quick. You know, you're looking for the parts that you want to cut out. That's how I do mine. I, I know there's a lot of ways of editing. And then when I edit my stuff, I know that my last section that I shot is my perfect section. So I edit from the back forwards on my own. Editing for me is totally different, but I like to do mine quick, easy. Um, the, the longest parts that I can say is going through frame IO where you just basically have to go through all the clips that they put together and listen to what sounds good. Um, look for what came out great that didn't look blurry, that wasn't out of focus or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put show you guys how I put these clips together. Also, I'm gonna show you a little of my technique of coloring in here. I'm not a I'm not a professional at this. I, I'll give you guys straight up, but I love doing it for clients. I love taking care of clients. What I do here, and I like to listen through everything through headphones or play it out loud. You know, I'll play this out loud here so we could get through it. Definitely cut scenes like this. You want to cut scenes where it's awkward moment scenes. What did my look? So you look for that part right there, drag it in. And also I try to look for that comedic, comedic beginning, that fun beginning, that hype beginning, unless they have it set that way. I kind of look for that. You know, whenever I'm scrubbing through anything through Frame.io, I kind of look for that comedic thing, something that will like draw your attention to because the first beginning, the first eight seconds of your YouTube, if you can't catch them, you lose them. And we don't want that. So I think the comedic scenes and then add the intro goes right good. It just, it, that's just me. I love comedy parts. I love having fun. I love when people are having fun on their vlogs and, and put that out. So what did my leg say when it was walking out the door? Da, da, da. <laughs> and so I will cut it right there. Boom. So we're going to cut. And another great thing you guys need to learn is your shortcuts. Boom. Blade cut right there. So as I saw through everything else on here, I can tell you pretty much it's not stuff that I would push in the, in the rest of her file. So definitely cut it right there. Learn your shortcuts because it does help you. Boom. Then I'll definitely drop in the intro. So one thing I want to make sure is I want to drop it in. I don't cover any other clips that I put in because, you know, then I'll have to delete the whole thing and come back again. I don't want to do that. As we look at it, let's start from the beginning. What did my leg say when it was walking out the door? Da, da, da. <laughs> Boom. And so that went into the intro, which is fabulous. I love that because that will grab people's attention. Like, whoa, what, what is she talking about? What is going on in this clip? So then, of course, I like to scrub along, you know, learn your shortcuts, drag it through, boom. And then look for your next, look for your next scene. I'm going to pause right there because we have so much more I want to get into. So we're going to pick it up on the next tutorial and we're going to go into details 
on how I color grade. This is the way I color grade. This is what how I've learned to color grade. And yes, there's better ways. There's probably millions of better ways to do it. But this is how I do it for my clients, for myself, and for anybody who's willing to work with us. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping my next tutorial or my next video. I'm gonna be trying to pump out more as we go. Please leave a comment down below if this was helpful. Hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and share this with somebody. Because you're always welcome at Stemmons House.